Hi, my name is Dr. Roberto Fernandez and I'm a chiropractor. And today we're going to talk about pediatric care. See, many times people have stereotyped chiropractic in thinking that chiropractic is only about neck pain and only about back pain. The question that people don't realize is that a 40-year-old that enters my office with neck pain may be showing me a problem that started when he was a child. It would be a lot easier to find these problems in children and help prevent them rather than waiting for the person to grow up. Let me run you through something really quick. Imagine that this was actually mom. It was actually dad, but you can't tell at this point. And what's going to happen naturally is mom's carrying baby between baby liquid and everything. She's throwing on 30 pounds. What's going to eventually happen is this bone right here, the pubis, is going to separate, allowing the baby to feed into the canal. The sacrum, which is the bone in the back, will back out of position. And when mom is ready to deliver, this baby will come down through that canal with the assistance of gravity. This will be a normal delivery. What do they do in this country? They lay women down on their backs. Do you know why they do this? It's the most comfortable position for the doctor. The worst thing a woman should be doing is laying down on her back when she's about to give birth. The weight of the baby will push down on the lumbar spine. The sacrum will be blocked up against the table. And the baby's going to come out up and against gravity rather than down and with gravity. Is this going to be easier or is it going to be harder? Obviously harder. Is it going to hurt more or is it going to hurt less? Obviously more. How do we solve that? We come up with a beautiful drug called an epidural, and they're going to inject mom with this epidural. They're going to numb her off from the waist down so she feels nothing. She also stops feeling the contractions. No problem. We come up with another drug. We're going to inject mom with something called Pitocin, and we're going to make her contractions about two to three times stronger than they normally would have been. Who's going to feel those contractions? Baby. As baby's head's coming out with all these contractions, the doctor's going to grab the baby's head, and he's going to pull on that baby's head, maybe, eight, maybe anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds. The shoulder is going to get blocked from the sacrum. The doctor will turn the baby's head to get that shoulder loose from the canal. I specialize in pediatric care. One of the things that we do is I do not rotate a child's neck until that child is at least, at least six years old to make sure that that child's neck is fully developed. If this doctor is pulling 10 to 20 pounds and turning the head, is there a possibility that that doctor may just have caused a problem in that child's neck? There's a 98% probability that he did. And this that I'm explaining to you is a normal delivery. I haven't talked about C-sections, vacuum extractions, forceps. All those things are 10 times harder. Question, is your baby going to come out and say, Hey mom, that birth was a little traumatic. You think you'd take me to the chiropractor for an evaluation? Absolutely not. These children may grow up suffering ear infections, headaches, different types of problems. And when this child grows up to be 30, 40 years old, and these problems have complicated themselves by arthritis or damage to a disc, and now they're suffering pain, and they come into my office, they realize that a lot of the damage could actually be permanent, and I can't reverse that. The best thing you can do for your child is check them as early as possible and make sure that they are not suffering what we call a vertebral subluxation. If you want more information, contact my office at 305-270-8800 or you can find me on the web at www.drrobertofernandez.com. Thank you.